was popping your it's your girl Amani Sharifa. What's up? What's good? What's popping you? <laughs> Shout out to all my people that are studying. <laughs> Back into your go channel. What's up, my mom, papas? So, on today's episode, we are going to be talking, babies, all about if your girl or your girl happens to believe fake rumors that they've heard about you, that is a huge red flag that they are not really for you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, I will be giving you my love some really dope advice that can really help you out. So, let's go ahead. We gonna hop right on into it. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> I chua. Thank you again for tuning back into your go channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> What's poppin', babies? What's good, you are? What's up, babies? So, wow. on today's episode, like I said, my loves, we are going to be talking all about. You know, like, if your do or your girl happens to hear fake rumors about you and they actually believe these fake rumors, this is a huge red flag, babies, that this person is not the one for you. <laughs> not the one for you, mama, papa. Oh, Oh yeah. <laughs> so you know, a lot of times this could happen, especially babies and to these time because you have some people out here that like to pop shit, talk shit about motherfuckers, makeup, you know, fake ass rumors, fake ass stories, and you know, just like to just like to gossip and spot a lot of fake shit for whatever the hell you know, the stupid ass, selfish, low vibrational malicious and ton us you know what i'm saying but you got a lot of people out here that do shit like this right you know whether whether if it's male or female and you know when this kind of happens you know it could maybe get back to like the person that you're actually in a relationship with you ain't saying so like this is really for my girls for my dudes out here we are you know you're in a full committed relationship you ain't saying what you'll do with your bush and they hold some shit like i just said you know through the green vine however they hold up and it was rumors that truly were not true babies you know like this shit was not true about you whatever they've heard right so this is really really bug because if you win i'ma tell you I'm going to tell you. <laughs> if you were the motherfucker out here that would literally believe the motherfucker streets over you, uh-uh. Uh-uh. See, no. 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 I'm going to tell you. A Lord, God, the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the divine, the most high, whatever need, mama, papa. Did you want to call God? Find by me, baby. <laughs> Cause God go boo the boo name, she ain't shame. But you gotta know, my loves, that a low good universe. Oh, he telling you something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he definitely telling you something, BBs. And what he's telling you is that that person, you ain't shame, your dude, your girl, that you in a relationship with, mama, papa, they can't be trusted. You ain't shame. I'm just giving it to be with you. They cannot be trusted because. Think about it like this. They hear some fake ass shit, right? Fake shit about you that's not true, right? And they just believe it. They believe it like they didn't even come to you, ask you any questions, or maybe they did come to you. And even after you told them the truth, they still don't take your word for it. They still like, 
have this animosity like you know like you're lying to them and they still believe the streets over over you so that's somebody that really can't be trusted because what they're showing you is that they ass is not motherfucking loyal oh oh yeah i'ma say that shit one more time for my bitches and my dudes in the box that ain't hurt you girl <laughs> Like mama, papa, a low good universe is showing your eyes that they're not loyal. They're not loyal, not at all. Because at the end of the day, a dude and a girl that you know really has like loyalty there. That's really like the the foundation, the relationship is built upon real ass shit on both ends. If they do hear some shit about, you know, they do and they girl that they're in a relationship with, what's going to happen? Then, like, first of all, let's let's talk about this right here. You ain't trying, let's break this shit down. The intuition, the spirit of discernment is connected to a log of the universe, my loves. So, immediately, if they hear some fake ass shit, about you the spirit of the soma and the intuition is going to be letting them know that the shit don't sound right you know what i'm saying like the the intuition as a man or the intuition as a girl the spirit of the soma as a man or the spirit of the soma as a girl is going to be sounding the alarm to them letting them know that something don't sound right about yang shen whatever the fuck the woman was because remember your intuition and your spirit of the soul man is your direct communication with a lord of the universe the most high mama papa so if you got like a world to a world girl or whatever like that they they should be in tune with a logo the universe to be able to pick up on that communication when a logo the universe lets them know that that shit not well you know what i'm saying like something not right about it and furthermore a world my a world girl gonna ask you about it babies and when the actual about that when you keep it a hundred with them you ain't shit like you keep it a being with them and you tell them the truth like you let them know that whatever the hell they heard out there it ain't true about you or whatever like that they gonna take your word for it they gonna take your word for it because you wanna know right you wanna know why <laughs> you wanna know why mama papa because like the old saying goes well recognized well my nigga yeah you say a nice three fox no cop of my rock big dog well recognized well so if you're with you know to my fellas if you with a real ass girl to my baby girls if you with a real ass dude they're going to be able to resonate with wellness yeah you say so so fill me on us when they get presented with some fake ass shit because they're a real person already inside of you know what they stand on at the end of the day they're going to know by the grace of a logo the universe that what's being presented it's fake yeah you say i need a gun like even if it's a case we are they want to like question or ask you about something okay whatever but they're not going to believe some fake ass bullshit that motherfuckers out here was popping on the streets over they bush on they do. Like, I'm sorry. That's just, you know, like, no, it's not going to happen. Like, no, no, <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. But see, when you dealing with a motherfucker out here, that's fake as hell. That, you ain't saying they not as well as what they try to portray to you. They're not as loyal as what they try to portray to you. They not as genuine as what they try to portray to you. The moment that they hear some fake ass shit, they're going to believe it, babies. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. We talking about that today. Yeah, we we gonna talk about that. We gonna lay it out on the table and we gonna bring this here to talk about. You know what I'm saying? They gonna believe that shit. 
They gonna believe it because the fake. So you are what you attract. You resonate with what you are at the end of the day. So somebody who's fake, that carries fake ass energy deep down inside, somebody that is not really genuine, that carries that type of energy deep down inside, somebody that's not really loyal, that carries that type of energy deep down inside, the moment that they hear fake shut, they're going to resonate with the fake shut. And instead of them actually either you know like approaching you and like asking you about some things they're gonna do a couple things they're either not gonna approach you at all and just believe whatever the fuck that they that they heard out there or they may approach you but like i said mama papa even if you keep it a bit with them and you let them know like you know whatever they heard that's not true they're still going to believe Whatever they heard, and then they're going to start treating you different, babies. They're gonna start treating you different in, in whatever kind of way it is. You know what I'm saying? But somebody that does that and they're just so quick to believe rumors, they're just so quick to like take the street side over you. That's somebody's that that's not loyal. Them, them, I'm gonna tell you right now, like go. <laughs> My dude, like, baby girls, fellas, that's them the type of bushes, them type of niggas that will leave your ass out there. They'll, they'll leave you for a whole nother girl, a whole nother dude. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't resonate with loyalty. Again, well recognized well at the end of the day. And if you're a fake ass person, you're gonna, you're gonna resonate with fake ass shut. Period. You're gonna resonate with it. So even when you have fake ass rumors being brought to you, instead of you being a real ass dude or a real ass girl, you're not going to be able to see below the veil, see below the surface, and see that whoever's but bumping these gums about, you know, your dude or your girl, they are fucking lying. No, you're not going to be able to see below the veil of that because you're faking damn self. <laughs> Period. Like, let's talk about it. You're fake your damn self. So, because you're fake, you're going to believe fake ass shut over your girl or your dude. That's really real. You know? So, babies, you have to really understand, mama, papa. If you encounter a situation like that, it's more going on that, you know, a lot of good universe is showing you, which is that you really can't trust that person that you're in a relationship with. Because if you're not lying about anything and you're keeping it well with them, again, well recognized well. <laughs> so they're going to know that you're not lying because a lot of good universe is going to guide them to know that babies. He's going to guide them and they're going to listen to the intuition. They're going to listen to the gut feelings that the most high is giving them. They're going to, you know, listen to the spirit of the sermon. They're going to know you well enough to know that your character don't even move like that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to really look at the bigger picture of what's really going on, which is that you know, a logo of the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit is really showing you that this is not somebody you can really trust. This is not somebody that you really could put your faith on that this motherfucker will really even be loyal to your eyes. You know, like this is not the person because nobody that truly babies that really stand on some real ass principles is going to allow an outsider. You know, to tell them rumors about you and they actually believe them when they know you keep it in a band with them. Or they just know your character so well that they ain't even got to approach you with the shut because, you know, they just feel strongly. But then, you know, like I said, the intuition, the spirit of the soul and that, you know, you're not lying or you, you're, that's not your character. So you got to really be careful with people like that, babies, because I'm telling you, like, I'm type of motherfuckers out there that, that like to believe everybody over they do or they go and they do or they go really have done nothing but prove their loyalty to them. Like, I'm really talking... Yeah, ain't sure, like, I'm really talking to my girls, my dudes out here. We are, you've proven your loyalty to this person. 
so there's no reason why they should like take other people's words over yours you know like it's no reason baby so it's like but people that actually do that you know a lot of good universe is really showing you that this is not the man this is not the girl for you like it's not you know like because they don't really represent the same shit that you represent if you're a really loyal person and most of the time whatever you ain't shame being talked about and shit like that you know like they the type of motherfuckers a lot of times people like that that actually believes like the rumors the lies gossip slander whatever like that about you that the hearing that's not true when they believe that shit that's really babies because that shit resonates really with them yeah ain't saying it, it actually resonates with them so they feel like that shit like i know i would do something like this you know by the fist you know baby girls or fellas like whether if it's a dude or a girl like they be thinking subconsciously like okay you know i know i will actually do some shit like that that i'm hearing that my dude or my girl doing so they gotta be doing it hey shay like them the type of people like i'm telling you my mom papa whatever they out there hearing when they believe it it's because they know deep down inside they either doing that shit behind your back or they will do it so they just you know like in their mind they think that you know like everybody else would be just as grimy as them you ain't saying like they think that everybody else would be just as dirty as them you know so that's why they take you know those rumors like really serious like they're the truth because they know mama papa that they will cross you like that or they are crossing you like that you know it's like the whole saying goes like it takes one to know one you ain't shay so if you're with like a disloyal ass you know person whether if it's a girl or a dude baby girls fellas because they are deep down disloyal inside they they feel like that they know that that person is disloyal because again what do we just talk about what do we just break down mama papa that that's what they resonate with so it takes a disloyal ass person to know another disloyal ass person but the thing is ain't she you not even disloyal i again i'm really talking to my babies out here where you are not being you know disloyal to this person you're actually being very faithful you've proven your loyalty all that good stuff right okay but so you know like the difference is is that you're not even being disloyal but a guy <laughs> this person is going to believe what the fuck they hear because deep down inside that's who the hell they are so they feel like a god that they know you got to be that way because they're that way they know that about themselves you know so it's a huge uh, <laughs> like a huge huge white flag that a lot of good universe is showing you and maybe it's like if it's a situation where you've been with this person and they have not been disloyal to you at all or you haven't you know experienced like any kind of like turmoil or the relationship oh trust me trust the motherfucking believe growl fellas <laughs> a low good universe is showing you this for a reason and even if you have not like seen that this person is very fucking disloyal to you it will end up happening it will end up manifesting in your relationship so it's very important babies that you listen to the most high one he's showing you that huge <laughs> well fly with that girl and that do because that person's not really for you and if you've already been through shit with this person that you know they have been like really disloyal to you or whatever like that they put you through my motherfucking toxic ass shit or whatever like that then that's even more of an indication that this person is you know they're not really who they who they portray they are so they're projecting shit onto you so at the end of the day like you gotta think about it like this like motherfuckers is the dudes nowadays you know what i'm saying so like whenever you're in a relationship and you have something what's supposed to be good you're always going to have motherfuckers out here running their damn 
mouth. Oh, oh yeah, like it just does what it does. Like my mom, and papa, you going to always have motherfuckers out here running the damn mouth when you're in relationships with people. You know, like I mean, it just does what it does because people don't know how to mind their fucking business. So, real adults. Yeah, ain't sure ain't like real people that's mature, a guy like we've been talking about the other Zappos, that's really there for the right reasons. They they understand that, babies. So motherfuckers that don't understand that and putting you through the through a ton of toxic shit and believing that shit, it just really is a reflection of that culture, babies. So keep in mind, my loves, that this is bigger than you know just them believe the people over you but it's really that clear manifestation that a little good universe is showing you that that person is really not to be trusted so i hope this helps babies <laughs> I hope this will this will this helps my loves. A lot of times, babies, people do ignore this word flag. You know what I'm and they just be thinking like, you know, that oh, you know, it's just a part of like relationship shit or whatever like that. And in reality, no, it's not a part of a relationship you being committed to somebody and they're always believing outside influences over you. One, you have done nothing, my loves, to give them any kind of like reason to believe other people over you. You ain't say that's not normal. Now it is, you know, a part of like life where people talk shit. You ain't saying spread rumors, lies, gossip, or whatever like that. Especially of like your couple that's pretty known, like by a lot of people, or you know, if you're like envied by like a lot of people, baby girls, fellas, like of course, yeah, you're going to have tons of gossip and rumors. Like that's just Satan's energy walking through low vibrational fuck ass people. Hey, you saying like just keep it in the being with you are like that's what the hell it is. It's nothing but energy from Satan that is walking through people to you know project that type of shit out there or whatever like that. So that part about it is just kind of like what's to be expected, but it's not normal. You gotta really understand that, Mama Papa. It's not normal for the person that you are supposed to be in a committed relationship with to believe that bullshit. You know? And that's what the Bull's High is really trying to show you. When people ignore this, this sign, when you have Yin Shen, like baby girls, fellas, just ignoring the sign and looking at it, like, oh, you know, it's just. You know, it's just random shit that, you know, we got to go through, you know, and shit like that. When you ignore the bigger sign, the bigger message of what a low good universe is showing you, that's how you, like, really find yourself and, like, really toxic situations with that person that you're in a relationship with. Because, you know, mama, papa, you're going to really start to feel like that. You got to be on, like, eggshells. Yeah, you ain't like, go, fellas. Like, you gonna start to really feel like that. Your motherfucking ass gotta walk around, like, on eggshells around this dude or eggshells around this girl or whatever because you don't know what the hell did me believe from Tom, Duke, and Howie. Yeah, you ain't Keisha, Felicia. Like, yeah, you ain't like. <laughs> like, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you say like you don't know you don't know what you're going to believe from uh, you know Javon, Shaban, Laurent, Kavan, you know Patan <laughs> You don't know you don't know who this motherfucker gonna believe shit from you don't know what the hell they're going to believe about you so, you know, it could really be bees, like, on some hella shit, like, it could really start to build, like, this subconscious feeling with a new mama, papa, that you have to, like, be careful about the things that you say or do because you don't know what they may have heard about you and you don't want them 
to keep believing things that you know is not true that you've already explained to them that is not true so subconsciously babies you can really start to feel like that you don't really have a voice in your motherfucking relationship because you dealing with a motherfucking toxic ass dude or a gal that's believing these bitches or these dudes out on the streets or whoever the fuck they're believing that's lying to them. And that's not a good, you know, high vibrational relationship. That's some low toxic guy shit. Because at the end of the day, again, to this episode, <laughs> Let's back it up again. Let's, let's wind and shut. To so this episode is really for my girls and my dudes where y'all have not done anything ever to make this person question you the way that they do. You know what I'm saying? That y'all have not done anything to like make this person think that you're disloyal. Y'all, y'all haven't done anything. Like you've shown, you've proven your loyalty babies over time. You know? So it's not a good, you know, vibration to be on with a person that you're in a relationship with where they're always, you know, just have that that mentality to believe outsiders over the person that the what. So you gotta just you ain't shit like you can't wear Wars pedal glasses on that act like that. That's not a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's definitely a problem. So pay attention and just understand that, you know, you don't want to be in a situation like that. And you know you the type of dude, the type of girl, my loves. We are, you really, you know, you want a good path in your life. You know what Not to say you perfect, but you damn sure ain't trying to be in no toxic ass, fuck ass relationship. You not trying to be with a motherfucker out here that, you know, is accusing you of things that you know your ass ain't doing. You ain't saying you really focus on some bullshit. shit. Like you, you have a good spiritual foundation or you're building a good spiritual foundation with the logo of the universe. You're working on yourself. You focus on goals, dreams, aspirations or you're achieving goals, dreams, aspirations. If you know that you're really on a good path to really working on yourself or continuing to work on yourself, babies, like, on some world, you don't need this. You don't need this shit at all. Not at all. <laughs> you don't need to be dealing with this, you know? Allow his ass or her ass to go ahead, you ain't saying, and find a girl or find a dude where they can, you know what I'm saying, Handle the Jowy Springer events together. Yeah, you trying to like let 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 old boy, let old girl, you know, go and let them, you know, meet somebody that they can handle the Jowy Springer events together. They deserve each other. <laughs> because all that's going to do, Mama, Papa, if you are really on that path of a good vibration, being in a toxic relationship like that, babies, it's going to bring you down more. Either in one hour of your life or in multiple hours of your life, Mama, Papa. And this is why, like, you know, a logo of the universe is really sounding the alarm trying to show you that you got to get away from the shit. You know what I'm and I know, like, especially if this was a relationship that, you know, maybe you was in it for like a mad long or whatever, or however the fuck long you were together with this person, babies. I know that could maybe be very challenging, but, you know, sometimes in life you just, you gotta still do what the fuck you gotta do, babies, regardless of how you're feeling in that moment. You know what I'm saying? So you have to really just look at it from more of a deeper standpoint and really ask yourself if you really want better for yourself or if you're on that path of doing better for yourself. You know, like, you have to really ask yourself, like, mama, papa, like, do I really want to keep dealing with this? You know, fellas, you got to really ask yourself, like, shit, like, do I really want to keep, you know, dealing with this shit with shorty? Like, she always, you know, she always accusing me and shit like that. And I ain't even doing nothing to her. Like, I ain't even on that type of time out here. Like, I don't even know why she be going in so much because I don't be doing this. Like, I don't be doing none of the shit that she be healing out here. Like, what's good with her? Like, what is she doing? It's the question. Like, 
like fellas like you will be asking yourself like yo what is she doing out here like what, what the hell is she doing like that she can't relax like why is she always so spicy out here like she be getting so mad at me and i ain't doing a nigga ain't doing shit you know what i'm saying like fellas you may be really thinking about it like that baby girls you could be feeling like i don't know why the hell this dude is always uh, accusing me of shit that i'm not doing like he always talking about what the hell he heard like nigga what the fuck are you talking about like have i ever cheated on you no am i out here fucking around with different people on you no so what i'm confused like why the hell are you believing these hating ass niggas or these hating ass girls out here all the time and i've given you no motherfucking be- like i've held you down my dude like i really held you down I always made sure made sure that shit was straight when I came to like my loyalty with you. So I'm confused. Like, why in the hell do you keep approaching me on this type of time? Like, you got to be clearly fucking with a whole nother bush behind my back or something like that. Don't be telling me that you loyal and shit like that to my face and then behind my back you fucking with a whole nother bush out here. Don't tell me that shit. Like, I don't want to hear what. Because you always coming to me, accusing me of shit. And I, I'm not out here fucking with nobody, but you're crazy ass. So, I don't know. Like, you tell me, baby. You tell me what the fuck are you doing. Yeah, you sure ain't like, go. <laughs> Fellas, like. <laughs> like, these could, <laughs> these could be some thoughts. You know, that's what it through your heart. You got to really think to yourself, like. Why do this person really keep accusing you of things? You know what I'm saying? So, babies, do what's best for you. If you really want battle for yourself, don't keep staying in this toxic ass relationship with somebody that, you know, continues to project their bullshit out on you. And that deep down inside, they are not really loyal to you. So, I love you, mama, papa, so much. <laughs> love you love you love you baby so 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 much please like this video so that way our channel can continue to go comment below babies let me know like is this your situation like have you experienced something like that where you know you dealt with a dude dealt with a girl you in a relationship with them and they constantly like accusing you of different rumors and shit like that. They're believing the rumors that they're hearing and things. And you know, you've never like given them any kind of like reason to believe rumors about you. Let me know. Yeah, you know, like, let the bitch know. Or if you are currently in a situation like this where your dude, your girl, my loves, you know, they are always believing other people over you keep in mind my loves that you know that is also a very big indication that this person is a people pleaser the people pleaser yeah you say when you always believe in other people over your home base and you know that your home base ain't never caused you and shit like that they're a people pleaser deep down inside which means you know people that are people pleaser they don't make good sound decisions Again, they don't fucking listen to, you know, the intuition that's connected to a logo of the universe. They don't pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not guided in, in a good way in their life. And it's no judgment. He ain't saying, like, on my channel, we don't judge. But I'm just speaking facts in a motherfucking situation. You know, people that are very people pleasers that always want to believe what people are saying out there and shit like that. It also shows very, like, insecurities that they really feel within themselves. So, I'm on now, like, one plus one adds up to two. <laughs> Somebody that you're dealing with that got insecurities that leads into more problems down the line. You know, so baby, it's just... Keep that stuff in mind, yeah, Shane. And let me know, Mama, Papa, if you are currently dealing with this or if you've dealt with this in the past, babies. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are updated when I post my next 
Tabak and Chuck on my playlist too, Mama, Papa. I got so many Tabaks in here. Like, on some world that you can really butter for farm. So, like, Chuck about. I am going to be having new series that you can actually watch. Yeah. You're going to be able to watch me. <laughs> so it's gonna be well love we gonna be laughing we gonna be having a good time i'm gonna give a lot of advice but it's gonna be a lot of different things that got introduced to my channel so stay tuned if you haven't done so yet go ahead and follow your girl or instagram my instagram name is right on that screen so go ahead and follow me because i would love to have you babies a part of the amani sharifa crew crew gang gang family what's up what's motherfucking good yeah <laughs> but until next time babies peace love and light always Mwah. later